We actually almost ended up shoplifting by accident. That was kind of fun. Uh, <laughs> Why is it so wonky? Did I, Remy touch it? No, but I'm holding the button. See, I could be talking like this and I just kind of go like that. It's like, well, he's got a nice little cross shot. Um, hey, how's it going? Let's just say Remy is still adjusting to the swim lessons. We had a week off, so you know, like when you get into the groove of things and then all of a sudden you stop or take a break, it just makes it so much hard. It's so much harder to get back in the groove. We actually did something different this time because so they had like a trampoline slash gymnastics thing next to it. Getting the concept. <laughs> Good job. You're gonna be in the Olympics soon, bud. You are. A little gymnastics champion, there, yeah. Remy, run and jump. Oh, of course. Fearless, fearless child. She had a blast. So we're trying to associate swimming with fun after, so that way, you know, it's like positive rewarding or whatever you want to call it. Blah, blah, Plus, blah, blah. It's like, it's kind of cool to see what she likes to do. Yeah, because maybe she'll be a swimmer, maybe she'll be a gymnastics person, maybe she'll be a I soccer just player. I to try anything. She can like, be an artist. To, I don't, I don't care what she wants to be, yeah. as long as she tries to tries it. And she likes it, she likes it. If she doesn't like it, that's that's cool. That's how you find out what you want to like. I feel like that's how my mom did it, like where she just kind of like... Do what you want. What do you want to do? And I was like, I like this. I remember I tried, I think I said it to you before, I tried baton for like three days, but then like it. Was That's nothing. almost a bit too. And then I became just a sports girl. That was my thing. We have to go to Tampa because Allie's got a little brief uh, doctor's appointment. Everything's fine. Don't worry. I know, when you, I've said it before, every time somebody's like, oh, I don't feel good or I'm sick. Everyone, or doctors, everyone just goes straight to COVID because that's the world we live in right now. I feel much better from yesterday. To actually knock down the dosage again because it was in the morning, I mean the evening that we knocked it down and in the morning, what was the other way around? One or the other, we knocked down 50 of it. Oh. I ended up doing it again, so now we're down 100 milligrams an entire day worth, we're down. So hopefully that kind of helps the situation. It's a, it's a balancing act. And I'm not, I'm no chemist, so it's taking some time. Tomorrow we're gonna be picking up something really cool that we got to help with the, the company to be able to do uh, one of the, the elements of it and really pumped to go pick that up tomorrow and you'll see, obviously. Right now, actually, I gotta call him back and make sure everything's good. It's cool that it's here. It's, it's finally I here. I wasn't expecting it. I was not expecting it. Apparently there was a shipment Got in early. Got some more stuff notarized today. So now we gotta register the trailer, title it, and then... That was a hassle. Oh. Then we gotta get the uh, the hitch adjusted a little bit and then start the renovation process and get this baby going. Now he's been and buying pieces and stuff, so. Yeah, and quite literally, I don't, you okay? I don't know if we necessarily needed to have it registered, but I, because of the business that I'm doing, I think we That's did, better we did it like as a safety protocol, which I think it will be better. I think it actually will have prevented anything crappy were to happen, like everything's covered. A lot more challenging than we thought. I mean, we love the challenge, but there's more intricacies to it. We might stuff. actually be going above and beyond what we yeah. actually need to do. Well, I, I always feel like you plan for the worst, expect, wait, right, you plan for the worst, expect the best. I think is how you say it. You guys want to see something kind of crazy? I'm not quite sure. Actually, you know what? You're probably not going to see that. So, you see that on the screen? That is the cost of living in 1984. I mean, look at that. The new house, the new car, average income, cost of gas, bread, all that stuff. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> As you guys know, recently Remy has been getting into a very unique stage where she likes uh, hats, beanies, again. Boots. Boots, gloves, jackets. I always wanted her to get glasses on because you know we're in Florida, you know the sun, but she never would do it. So I was like, you know what? When we drive around, it was kind of like look towards the sun and then see if she'll put it on. Right, Remy? You want to put them on? Not purposefully, just that. You yeah, no, not purposely. We just, because it's Florida, you can't. Have... And let's use my glasses that I've had for seven years. Let's just make sure she totally destroys those. You don't want to uh, say bye, sun. Bye, sun. You got to put, put them on. on. You got to put them on so the sun goes away. 
Right? Want to put them on? She's reading. She can't. Oh, yeah. You need the reading glasses? I want a cake. You want a cake? No. <laughs> what? Yes. You want a cake? Yeah. Okay, I'll get you a cake if you put your glasses on. No, I want a cake. So we, so we need to get her some new ones because multiple reasons. Remy's got such a tiny little nose like mom. But they just slide right down. <laughs> she looks like us. What's his name? Carlos from uh, Hangover. <laughs> All right, so we gotta go find Remy some sheep sunglasses. Remy, this is proven to be harder than I thought. This is probably a bad thing to show you, but. All right, tell me to look. Yeah, we gotta see. We're gonna go into Claire's. Yeah, Daddy loves that place. That's a bunch of like, pinballs. Want to get your ears pierced? Yes. You no, you don't. You probably wouldn't like that. I'll let you make the decision when you're older. Yeah, I want it. Grandma. Look, Daddy. Yeah, look, look at look at the sunglasses. I see sun. The cool girl. Those are the cool ones. Hey, Remy, let me see. <laughs> got some Getty images coming uh, up right now. Ooh, yeah, girl. Right on the top. We finally got away from all the paparazzi. Remy, those paparazzis are pretty annoying. We finally got rid of them. Are you ready? Yeah? Where's your glasses? Oh, you're such a weird little kid. I love it. So mom is not feeling too good right now. I had like a little bug uh, a couple days ago. Thank you. Oh, nice that you killed the flower. It just lasted for not even 24 hours. So it was like a little fever, and kind of chills and stuff. And I think I may have accidentally given it to Allie. So we're gonna go get some stuff done. So we're gonna go get some medicine, right? Okay. And we're gonna go look maybe for some Santas? I don't know, perhaps? Yeah, I don't know. Avoid all the paparazzi, like I said earlier. Those bastards. Might as well use time and look at some Christmas lights because it's beautiful, right? Oh. Can't wait to do what we did that last time. Got mommy her medicine. Got her some gummy bears. Yeah. Remy yeah. got a bill. We almost, <laughs> we actually almost ended up shoplifting by accident. That was kind of fun. Remy had a little five finger discount. Gotta keep an eye. Actually, it wasn't her fault. It was the cash register lady. I mean, I've been playing doctor and Allie's feeling a little bit better. So we decided to get some pizza because we're awesome doctors, right? Yeah, because you crushed it. Say, I crushed it. <laughs> all in all though, it's been a pretty cool day. I'm gonna get some things done around the house so that way when Allie feels better and she wakes up, she doesn't have to deal with any of this stuff. I think we'll probably read, what do you wanna read, Lady and the Tramp? This is actually, to be honest with you, this is gonna be the first time uh, that I've actually had to put ready to sleep completely because usually she doesn't want anything to do with me at night. All day she wants to hang out with me, but during the nighttime, She's just like all about mom. So it's gonna be kind of interesting. But we're gonna do good, right? Right? <laughs> Fingers crossed.